there everyone this is Lisa Spangler and this week I'm doing the Lawn Fawn video as part of the Hero Arts Lawn Fawn Blog Sochiru and I'm going to show you how to make these super cute pumpkins. So today I'm going to be using this star border from this brand new teeny tiny backdrop set. This is a sneak peek set that I was lucky enough to get an early copy of. I'm like Yay! I, when, as soon as I saw it, I was all happy. And I'm using Stays On Black ink to stamp on an orange uh, circle of felt that I die cut. And when I stamp on felt, I like to stamp on it and press for about 10 to 15 seconds so that the ink really has a chance to transfer onto the felt. So there you can see the first row. And then I'm gonna try to get the second row without getting my head in the camera. But you would just keep stamping row after row here. So you just line that up. Hopefully this will be good. And then press and stamp again. And continue doing this all the way down. Okay, so here's a finished circle, and you can see how easily these teeny tiny backdrops line up so that you can fill in a whole background. Okay, so now that we have our stamp felt circle, we're going to go ahead and flip it over and then sew a gathering stitch along the edge. And the way I do this for felt is I start about an eighth of an inch away from the edge and this will give it enough room so that it won't tear when we pull on the gathers later. And then what I do is I just take my needle and make kind of loose stitches just like this just along the edge and then when I get a whole bunch in there like this then I go ahead and pull the needle through. And you want to put a good amount of thread on here. I'm using embroidery thread, um, three strands of embroidery thread. And you want to leave enough so that you can go around the whole pumpkin, like around the whole circle, and also have enough to make the pumpkin ridges along the side. So you can see that's already starting to form the gather. And I'm just going to go ahead around the rest of the circle here. Okay, I'm almost to the end, um, back to the beginning where I started. So I thought I'd show you when I do this part, I just go right a little bit past where I started, and that way the stitches will overlap. Here you can see the knot from where I started. I'm just going past that just a little bit. Okay, so now that's all done, and I thought I'd just hold this here for a minute. So you can see it's just really loose stitches, and I didn't worry about pulling it very tight just yet. So now we're going to leave the needle on the thread, and we're going to get some polyfill, or if you wanted to be eco, you could use like um, a trash bag, or you could save like cotton balls from the top of like medicine bottles. But today I'm just going to go ahead and use this polyester uh, fiber fill. And then what you're going to do is gently tug on the thread. And I like to keep my thumb kind of pushed in there on this polyfill. And I'm going to add some more in there. But you just keep filling and then gently tugging. And I think I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit more. See, maybe this much more will fit in there. Yeah, that'll look good. But just gently tug. And this is where, if you sewed it too close to the edge, that's where it can rip when you're using felt. So you always want to leave that little eighth of an inch like that. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. And there's a little gap here, but after we finish sewing everything, you won't see this little stuffing, plus the leaf will hide it too. So then take your needle, and you're just going to make little zigzag stitches across the top. So I'm going in one side, and then pulling it out the other. And then I do kind of the opposite side. And you'll just keep making a few of these until you get it so it's uh, good and closed. And you can kind of tug on it again like I did there to close up this gap. 
and one across this side. And then maybe like another one across here. And like, here I'll show you another one in case you didn't see that. So I just put the needle across from one side to the other and then go ahead and pull it through. And keep doing that until it gets pretty well closed up. Okay, so to make the ridges along the sides of the pumpkin, you know how a pumpkin will have the ridges along the side, you just take your needle and poke it straight down through the middle until you get to the bottom, like this. I'll hold it, hopefully you can see there, or you should be able to see. And then just pull it through. And then wrap the thread around the side like that and poke it back through the middle uh, down and have it come down through the bottom again in the same place where you made the last uh, stitch. And so there's one ridge and then you just want to make about oh like five or seven like six maybe just ridges just however it looks good because each pumpkin will be a little bit different okay so this is the last one so i'm going to go ahead and do one of those stitches across the top again so then i can tie this off and you can see when you pull on that it really closes it up so i'll do maybe I'll just do one more just to make sure it's all closed and then I'll make a little knot in here just by putting the needle through and then putting the needle back through the loop again. And then I can go ahead and trim that off. And there is the pumpkin without the stem and the leaf. So let's do that next. Okay, so to make this little stem part, this is just a piece of floral wire. And what you're gonna do is just bend it in that little loopy thing. And this doesn't have to be anything exactly precise, just however you want it. Maybe this one will have just one like that, and then like another one, kind of like that. Okay, that looks good. And then you should, really should use wire trimmers for this, but I can't find mine, so I'm just using an old pair of scissors. And I'm just gonna snip that off and then snip off a little bit this way. And then I'll kind of measure it to see how well it fits in the pumpkin. There, that looks good. And that'll almost stay just like that, but if you wanted to, you could go ahead and put a little bit of fabric glue or like a hot glue down in there, but I think that's good enough. Now for the leaf, I just kind of cut a blobby kind of leafy shape out of green felt. And what I'm gonna do is create a little like a uh, leaf stem by sewing just a little stitch right on here with green embroidery thread, just like that. You can see that. And then I'm gonna place it just on the pumpkin like this. And then I'm just gonna do a little stitch to tack it on here. So I'm just gonna go through one side and then kind of out the other side. Just like that. And then that just kind of tacks it right on there, like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a little knot back here to tie it off. Just like that. Ta-da! One pumpkin for a pumpkin patch. These go so fast you can make a whole bunch of them in no time. So thanks for joining me today and I hope you try stamping on felt and making a whole pumpkin patch of your own soon. Bye!